If it wasn't on film, that would be him cheating himself. But he knows now he's on film, he's got to finish the set. You only cheat yourself if you quit. Push through it, get the work done. That's how you make change, that's how you make progress, right? None of y'all stopping me, don't need to ask. Chopping trees, planting seeds, planting schemes. Crossing eyes, dotting T's. Lines are blurred, I cannot see. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, I'm top three. He's telling me how many reps I gotta do. Okay. Okay. What is going on YouTube? You are back with the Prez out here in Juniper Park today. Today is the second workout of the week. You guys been following the recent video, I told you. I got off of my strict weighted programming and now I'm starting to train again more intuitively. No set plan, just going off how we feel on the day of training. Still gonna stick to my three, maybe four day a week training split. Monday, full body, park routine, you guys saw that. I had the 55 pound dumbbells out, did a full upper body workout, all body weight, then that lower body, we used the 55 pounds, hitting lunges and everything, go watch that video if you missed it, full body park workout, you don't even need the dumbbells, because it's just the legs. Today, second training day of the week, on the upper body, you saw me doing a dynamic warm up there, with some explosive forward jumps, then some lateral explosive lunges, that's just to warm up the nervous system, and then some band assisted muscle ups to fire everything up. Full upper body calisthenic routine today. Back, like I said, training back to reps and sets intuitively. Let's get it. All right, guys, starting the routine off today, of course, it's gonna be muscle ups. I've been training them a lot lately, and I've noticed again, I've been doing a lot of swing, a lot of momentum. I gotta clean them up. Those warm up reps with the band were probably the cleanest reps I've done in a while. So I'm gonna lower the volume. Take a little longer breaks here. Instead of doing two minute breaks in between each set, I'm gonna up it to three minutes, let my nervous system recover, and I'm gonna try to hit again between four to six reps, clean, as little momentum as possible. Let's get it. All right, I'm happy with that four right there. We'll go three more sets of four, three minute breaks. So we're gonna treat this muscle up now, again, as a strength exercise, and then I'll add volume at the end with the band just to get some more practice in. Oh, 
Oh, damn. All right. Only called three on the third set. Definitely getting a little tougher. But again, like I said, that's why I stopped training him weighted. There was no need to train him for extreme strength when I still don't have the volume of body weight reps clean again, right? So, and there's no point in being going back to kipping reps. In the home gym on that big fat bar, the reps inevitably might be a little sloppy to begin with when I'm training there just because that bar is just super thick. The rack moves, it's not stable. So I gotta get a little bit of momentum on there for now. But I hope to clean them up over the winter months as I train there more often. But using this fat bar here, I gotta just get the reps cleaner. So we're gonna keep the volume lower, longer break periods. And again, so I hit four, four, and three. I'm gonna go one more set. And that just shows that we can just keep making progress. And if you literally go back and watch the previous muscle up videos, the reps were a lot sloppier than this. So I'm really trying to clean them up now, focusing on a stronger pull, keeping the form strict, less forward momentum swing and everything. Still getting a little bit of knee drive when needed, but controlling that negative down. That's key. Let's go. Set four. Ah, all right, so core five on the fourth set to make up for the missed rep on the third set. So still a total volume of 16, pretty clean reps. Again, I could feel that set was actually pretty damn smooth. So again, very happy trying to eliminate the momentum there. Took a little longer breaks than, again, three, maybe four minutes break between that last set, between set three and set four right there, just because I missed the rep on the third set, right? So I knew I needed a little bit longer break. So training more, again, clean this movement up, keeping it more of a strength-based movement around this muscle up. Not gonna do any weighted sets, just gonna build up volume, body weight. Just like any beginner movement, when you're a beginner and a movement is new for you, and you could be in advance, as long as something is new for you, it's gonna be hard. And you're gonna get those strength building components to it, right? Because if it's hard, you can't do a lot of it. I gotta probably bang out eight to 10 kipping, but cleaning them up makes it harder. Increasing the difficulty of the exercise, give me a more muscle building stimulus. Three sets, I mean four sets, four, four, three, and five for a total volume of 16 today. More upper body work to go. Let's get it. All right, you're in a muscle up sets are done. Again, like I said, full upper body calisthenic workout today. Moving on to some handstand push ups. You guys saw over the summertime I was training on the P bars, stomach to the wall, deep range of motion reps. Also, this summer I was a lot lighter, I was probably six to seven pounds lighter. And I haven't really trained them again. So going back back to the wall to build up volume now. And again, this is going to be more of a hypertrophy-based movement. In the summertime, it was lower reps. I was still hitting that three to five rep range with the deep reps. I'm going to try to hit six plus reps now. Back to the wall. I got the plates there for a slight elevation. Let's go. Tougher six than I expect. Thank you in the front. But hey, that's how you get progress, right? We start somewhere, we keep building up. Two more sets, three minute breaks. Let's get it, set two. Made the weights slightly wider, right? That first set, it was extremely narrow, which is optimal and better for handstand work in general, but it's also gonna place more emphasis on the triceps, right? So I wanna eliminate some triceps, put a little more stress on the delt, make the press a little bit easier as well. So slightly wider this set, but trying to get to at least another six. And the weather's beautiful, this is crazy. Yeah, the blood Tough. Your head. I shouldn't have even tried sixes on these. Definitely should have kept the volume lower. 
Probably should have hit set to three and then more total sets. But again, haven't trained it in a while. Hitting it after muscle up, so there's gonna be a little bit of fatigue left. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna catch these two reps that I owe for this set right now. I'll hit them one at a time. One more, and a match going. Yeah, I like that tuck. The tuck is good. I didn't even think I could go that far. That's a nice tuck. I can hit up the elbow fast with that. If I don't catch this rep, I'll get the, I'll get the negative. All right, you got it, let's go. Push. Push, 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 push. You got it, push. You got it, got it. Push that lock out, lock out, lock out, lock out, lock out, lock out. All right, yeah, that's good. Woo! Let's go. Oh, shit. Fuck, that was tough. Yep, here comes the boom. Let's go. Oh, shit. Just get two, two to three. All right. And just as far as you could get. Get my legs straight. You got it. Right there, money. You broke 90. Let's go, get another one. One more. My shit cracking. One more, one more, one more, one more. Lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it. Good money. All right, third set. You guys saw those first two sets extremely tough. Pretty much I went to extreme failure there on set two. So if I would have stayed trying to do them on the plates again, it would literally just would have set me up to have a regression. So I'm just going to count this set as a back off set, and I'm going to make it easier. I'm going to go on my hands, and however many reps I catch, I catch. Rested about three minutes now between that last set. Let's go. Caught another six, but again, didn't go as deep. Didn't go for that extra range of motion at the plates gate. Remember, on the plates, I was hitting my head every rep. Here, I didn't even touch my head, and I just caught six off my hand. So, back off set, easier variation, more upper body work to go. All right. First set, like I said, body weight, three bar, neutral grip pulls. We're doing neutral grip pulls today to keep the variety in, right? When I'm only training weighted pulls, I just kept training pronated grip. The more you train the movement pattern the same way over and over, the more potential for injury, right? So now I'm gonna get that variety in, and be able to switch my grips up, get the volume in. So I get first set body weight, then 90 second break, all right to 25 pounds. Let's go. And so for these pull-ups here, because remember, this is more of a push-focused workout. The previous workout on Monday was more of a pull-focused workout. So these sets I wanna do more bodybuilding style. That's why I'm only doing one routine. Body weight and I'm pumping out the first set, right? That's why you see me do high reps here, not really focusing on the eccentric, really trying to pump a lot of blood into the muscle. I'll take a short break before set two, add weight, and then add more weight again for set three. Bodybuilding right. style, keep adding weight. On the first clip, could have pushed out a few more, but not trying to go to failure. We got two more sets, 90 second break, let's go. This is my first time getting two in a row. Uh, right. Second set, like I said, 90 second break, between set one and set two, through the 25 pound plate on. Again, max reps, one to two reps shy of failure now. All right, 10. But that's okay, like I said, I'm wanting to go into the set fatigue. We had a 20 clip on set one. So that burn built up quickly right now. Two minutes now between set two and set three. Up in the weight, let's get it. All right, third set, 50 pounds strapped on, like I said. This is all I'm doing for pulls today. So quick bodybuilding style, just to get the volume in, switching up the grip, keep that variety in three bar, 50 pounds, let's get it.
Now I'm gonna drop the 25 again. Like I said, bodybuilding style. Go ahead and drop set. Keep going to failure, keep making the set a little bit easier to get more volume in. So a body weight set now to complete failure. Oh, you can see guys, you don't need to lift hundreds of pounds to get a crazy muscle building stimulus or to get stronger. You can keep getting stronger with different varieties of training as long as you're smart with it. So like I said, full calisthenic routine today. Again, you guys, if you guys can't do weighted pulls yet, just literally do three sets of max rep body weight pulls because naturally as you get from set to set, as long as you keep those break periods strict, 90 seconds, to no longer than two minutes, inevitably, if you're hitting your first set close to failure, your second set close to failure, each set is gonna get a drop off in reps. So your body weight's gonna keep that intensity high as long as you keep the break period strict. The longer breaks is gonna be more strength focused. This is more bodybuilding, hypertrophy focused right here for the pulls. So do it at your level. I only use 50 pounds today. And you guys see, I, I could do 100 pound plus pulls for a single. So. You don't need to use that much load when the intensity is there with the reps, right? So more work to do. We got dips next. Let's get it. All right, so getting on to the next push exercise. Like I said, it's going to be a more push focus routine because Monday's routine was more pull focus, right? So now we're going to get into a dip routine. It's first and it's going to be partner style. So you could do this on your own. You do not need a partner, but if you got a partner to help you push it even further. So this first set is going to be warm up, body weight style. Matt's going to do everything body weight style. I'm going to end up doing weighted sets. But this first one is going to be pyramid style, 15 reps, 5 to 1. And this is going to prepare us for the working set to come next. So I'm going to start in a hold. Matt's going to do 5 dips and then he's going to hold. So stay tuned. 5 to 1 for the warm up set right now. Let's go, 5 dips. Come on. So that was five, four, three, two, one with hold lockouts in between, right? Those lockouts are gonna increase the intensity, increase that time under tension, help you build up that work capacity, your push endurance. That was a warm up set. We're gonna do weighted sets next. Let's go. All right, guys, getting into the working sets. I got 50 pounds strapped on. We're gonna be doubling the volume from the warm up set. So 30 total reps for the working set. I don't expect to hit this unbroken, which is fine. We're gonna keep this video recording the whole time. When we break, we break, we get down, we rest quick, but it's the same thing. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, with holds in between. I'm a rep first, Matt's gonna start with the holds this time. 50 pounds, body weight, let's go.
break. I had a break. There's no way I was getting into eight. I would have started the clip and broke anyways when I had to redo it. So quick shake off. We ain't, we ain't ending the video. I did my hold. I go right into eight. Match. Got a hold first. Don't go up yet. Wait till I start. Come down. Wait till I start. All right. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, fuck. Ah. He's owes three reps, so I gotta hold until he finishes that shit. Killing me right here. This is how you build up strength and endurance. You don't need a lot of sets like this. One main working set right now is gonna take you to extreme failure. Let's go. You owe three. Let's go. Get it. Alright, we're on sixes. Uh, 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 you gotta hold next. Wait till I start. Uh, again, in the short breaks, it's gonna help you build up that anaerobic endurance, building up that work capacity. This is weight and endurance training here. It has a direct relationship over. The strength training too, because you're still building the stabilizers. You still got that external load. Let's go. Hold. I gotta get six. Go. Come on. Come on. Don't stop. One more. Get it up. Let's go. All right, he goes one rep. This is why he's doing the body weight still. He's got to build up that endurance though. He still don't have the reps in. You got to train more dips and pushes, not just muscles, but he knows. Come on. Let's go. You owe one. And then hold up because I'm going right to fours. Let's go. Hold it. Go. Go. Yeah, that's it. Guys, kill. No, 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 no. We ain't finishing. Okay. You gotta finish yeah. two reps and then and then twos. Let's go. See, look. If it wasn't on film, that would be him cheating himself. But he knows now he's on film. He's got to finish the set. You only cheat yourself if you quit. Push through it. Get the work done. That's how you make change. That's how you make progress, right? If it's easy, everyone would do it. If it's hard, that's what changes you. You gotta give your body a reason to change. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. It's in your head. Two reps. Let's go. And then stay on that bar. Let's go. Go. Last two. Let's go. Now hold it. Lock it. Good. Look, 30 clip, the hardest 30 clip you're ever going to do, and it wasn't even 30 clip, we had a break, right, so 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 30 reps with the 50, with 30, well, more than 30 seconds of holds, because you got to, this, with the partner, it's going to be tougher, right, because you got to work with your partner, right, you don't start until he's done, and you got to hold for all his reps, so if he's breaking, you're holding longer, you're holding double the time, basically, you could break with him as well. We'll do one back offset, body weight, I'll go body weight. Matt's just gonna do holds. He's just gonna literally do holds just to build up that endurance on the bar. He's not gonna do any reps. I'll go to a body weight set for back off. Let's go. All right, so this is the back off set. I decided to do it with 25 pounds. I'm actually feeling pretty good. Got a nice four minute break after that last set. But we're gonna go back to our original working reps, right? Five to one. Matt's not gonna hit the reps, he's gonna be doing isometric holds, but he's gonna be holds on the bottom and the top. So I'm gonna have him start, I'm gonna start with the hold. He's gonna start with a five second dip hold on the bottom. Let's go, five on the bottom, just hold. Go down. 
Hold. Five, four, three, two. Hold on top. Four on the bottom. One, two, three, four. Get up. Three on the bottom. One, two, three. Get up. Just hold on top now. All right, no more bottom from that. One, two, three. One, two. One. So five to one with the 25 for the last dip set. Remember guys, learn to manage your volume and intensity. That's all I'm doing for the routine today. Handstand pushes with high intensity, right? Tough exercise. Barely caught six for two sets, right? So the intensity on that exercise was high as hell. The pulls, again, more bodybuilding style. Muscle-ups, we treated them as strength. And then we came over here to dips. All right, guys, so like I said, we finished off the routine with that dip pyramid. High volume still, the reps are very high. The intensity gets higher and higher as you increase that hold time, right? So still very high intensity, high volume. So you can't, now that's why, again, that's why the low is only 50 pounds and 25 pounds. You can't do a routine like that with heavy weight. If you watched last week's video when I did the 10 to two dip routine with weighted pull superset, I was breaking in between. It was 10 weighted dips with 90, 45 pound pulls, rested. Eight, eight, rested, right? Here it was unbroken sets, that was the goal. We were trying to build up that work endurance, trying to build up that bar endurance, that anaerobic endurance, right? So the break periods are less and less, which is gonna increase the intensity here. Full upper body routine today, guys. Every set pretty much, or every exercise is taken pretty much close to failure to get that muscle building stimulus. And you don't need a lot of weight to do it, guys. I'm showing you how to manipulate your body weight to make sets harder. The best exercises to incorporate, to build strength, to build muscle with just your body weight training, right? Like I said, back to intuitive style of training. Monday, high rep pulls. Today, lower volume pulls, different grip. When I was on that strict weighted routine, it was too mundane, right? Everything was weighted pulls, weighted dips, muscle ups. Overuse can accumulate very quickly that way, especially as the weights get heavier and heavier. Higher risk for injury, higher risk for overuse. And overuse literally just comes from doing the same grips over and over again and not giving yourself any variation. So give my, my body the ability now to vary, to you know, to rotate the movements, to add more variety into the training. It's only gonna keep the training fresh, keep me more motivated to get into the sessions and to make gains. So full of body routine today, muscle ups, handstand push ups, pull ups, dips. Four of the literally best up body exercises that you guys could do, body weight style to build muscle and get stronger. Follow this routine out, do it at your level. If you're still learning muscle ups, throw a band on and get clean reps. You guys see Matt still trying to practice his reps with a band. But that's, look, it takes volume. It takes a lot of repetitions to get better and better. He only started learning muscle ups this year. So over time, if you go back to my previous videos, the whole first year of my muscle up training was dirty. I caught 20 plus reps within my first six months of training on this bar in the winter time, but they were dirty as hell. But hey, I got the volume in and that just helps you get better and better down the line. So, full body routine today, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always guys, I appreciate the support. Like the video, it helps the algorithm out. Share with your friends and your family. If you're not subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. Give it a question, a comment, leave it in the comment section. I always get back to you guys. Peace out, Bar Naturals. They all love to talk, you know they do that shit the most. Think you on my level, boy, but you ain't even close.